Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascenda Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately <clears throat> and permanently. I call in Uni the purest of white light and pray that you stay Uni in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay. Judgment is final. Okay. So we do have someone that wants to come towards you, but they're being stopped from coming towards you to give to you. Okay, this car is coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in there, out here. So someone wants to come towards you to give to you or to balance something out to, with you, to confess something to you, uh, reconcile with you, whatever this is. People don't want them doing this. It's a queen of pentacles reverse. There's gaslight in somebody. She may even want to come towards you to gaslight you, play with your emotions, or it's going to someone in the upright. Maybe this could be a judge, a lawyer, or whoever it is that she's going to, uh, to play with your emotions. This woman is not very genuine. This is someone that's very disingenuine, okay? Someone could be facing some type of retribution for what it is she's been doing out here. Uh, maybe this is like something catching up to her, and maybe people are not not exactly on the bandwagon with what it is she's been doing. They may be telling her to let go of something, but she's refusing to let go. Um, but something has backfired for this woman, okay? Someone is very determined to stop you from being seen, stop you from having a new beginning, stop you from receiving an offer, new, new, uh, a fresh start, an opportunity, relocating, moving on with your life. Like, this is all they've been doing. Someone is doing a lot of projection because she's going through a lot of losses behind the scenes. It's a lot of still mates. It's like, oh, keep slowing them down, keep blocking them, keep doing this. But someone, the truth is out. She's going to end up telling the truth about why she's been doing something, confessing and things like that you don't need to hear it from her she's going to confess it to somebody it may be like a lawyer or somebody else that's in the upright around her or whatever this is i don't know if somebody tried to say you took something from them or you stole something from them or you did something to them you didn't do nothing to this person someone has just been pretending putting on a facade this is a queen of pentacles reverse that's been putting on some type of facade to make it seem like you crossed them you didn't cross this woman okay she crossed you someone took from you you didn't take from them okay and she's feeling to accept this reality. Oh, I don't know. I don't think this person can be is fixable at this point because someone is still going with something. It's literally every read. This woman is showing up in her energy. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Okay. So whatever she's been doing is catching up to her. But she feels like she got to keep going with something. And we're going to let her keep going with something because I've already seen how this is going to end out. This is going to turn out, excuse me, there's a tower coming and these towers are going to be coming back to back to back. Someone has basically uh, undone themselves at this point. Um, maybe going through a lot of distress behind the scenes. Maybe even feeling some type of physical pain because once the truth is out too, something is not fixable. Something is not going to go in her favor. It may be something where someone just tells them uh, flat out, I'm not doing this anymore or something is not going in your favor. You need to let go. You need to compromise to somebody. Uh, you are in the wrong. Someone didn't do anything to you. So I don't know what kind of narrative this woman has spun where she had people thinking that you did something to her. It was a false narrative, basically. It's a lot of fighting going on amongst these people. Um, I've seen the seven of, seven of Cups to the uh, uh, Five of Wands. So it's a lot of illusions, a lot of narratives uh, that were spun that were not true. And it's all based on lies and things that get to cause conflict in somebody's life. There's a tower coming. Uh, it's multiple towers coming and it's going to be back to back and things like that. So I don't know why it is someone wants to keep going with something at this point. It's just ego, I believe. It's ego and pride. You know, the pride comes before the fall. So it's some type of fall from grace coming for a community, uh, for a family, a queen of pentacles reverse, whatever this is. Uh, you're going to have to confess at some point. Maybe she's even confessing to someone in the upright what it is she's been doing, why she's been doing something. And this is going to lead to something being fixed, something being uh, amended. I don't know what this is, but 
there's something is going to be balanced out. Um, what I think what it is is that this woman has been trying to steal something from you. It don't belong to her. So I don't know if someone when it spun a narrative that you took something from her and so she's trying to get it back. She's been trying to have control or something. It don't belong to her. It does not belong. Like someone does not have a hand in anything you've been doing. Let's say you start a company. You come up with the products. You come up with the business plan and everything. Excuse me. <clears throat> you come up with the products, business plan, everything, right? You have the blueprint of the company. You know how to execute that business and make it successful and things like that. Someone comes across your business and they take a liking to it. They're interested in it. Maybe they reached out to you to work with you. You don't want to work with them. You prefer to work by yourself. Maybe you saw something that you 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 just it didn't settle with you. You said not. Nah. Or it could just be something you've never met this person, but they're used to stealing from people and taking from people, right? And they've been trying to steal what's yours. So they go and get other people involved. They they went they go and tell people sad stories, all kinds of dishonest stories and things like that about you. Like they help you do something and you turn your back on them. Not true. Don't know the woman. Or not well acquainted with the woman. You don't even know this person to like the, from a can of paint to the point where it is that you will even be talking to them about what it is you do or you have a business or something. It's something like that. So they're trying to steal what is yours, but they can't have it because it's not theirs. Okay? But they still want to force it. So something, someone may be telling them that, no, you can't have this. This is not yours. Or we're not doing this with you anymore. We're not projecting onto this person anymore. We're still going to be working with this person or we're letting go. We're walking away. We see the truth, who the actual uh, innovator is, who the actual inventor is of whatever this is. Uh, we see who the real empress is, who the real queen of pentacles is. So we're going to be communicating with this person that we want to work with them. You don't want to work with them. That's your business. You're free to leave. It's what this is. Like you, you can leave. You, you know that stuff where you're talking to somebody. You're trying to fix a situation. And they're just not getting it. Because they're still in the high school mentality. And you tell them, hey, you can either stay and work with us. And we figure this out. And mend things. Because this, this, this person is the money maker. Not you. Or you can leave and they're still there yapping about, and I just feel like I, 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 said, I said you can leave. You don't got to be here convincing us. Like we already said you can, you're welcome to leave. Like this is the person that's saying, I just feel like when they come here, it's going to be problems. I don't think they really know what they're doing. And I'm the, 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 the it's that John's probably looking at her like, Liz, li listen, Lisa, Lisa. We say you can leave. You don't want to work with them. That's fine. And then we don't, we don't feel any ways about it. You don't want to work with the person. That's okay. But you can leave though. Okay. All she got to do is leave. Go have a fresh start somebody else. Somewhere else. Excuse me. With somebody else. I, like you can leave. But this person that they're afraid to because there's nothing out there for them. Okay, there's nothing out there for her. Someone has done something where it has undone her. That like she may even end up losing money, like losing everything, her foundation, security in life. Okay, because she don't win and spend money. I'm telling you, losing everything. She she don't win and spend money trying to destroy you. Like somebody undid themselves trying to destroy you. Okay, they've undone themselves trying to destroy you. Is that I got enough money in the world to keep doing this, to keep paying for this. And this was supposed to be over a long time ago. So they kept paying to cause you blockages, to slow you down, to do this and do that, hinder you, create scarcity tactics, to have you living in fear and all of that. Because this is what dark people do. Okay, dark worker karmics do. They haven't learned their lessons yet. So she keep paying money, paying, bribing this person behind the scenes. Because this is somebody that works from the shadow. You ain't never going to see this woman's hand in public. Like, I'm paying you $10,000 to block this person. No, no, no. She does hers from behind the scenes. Us light workers, we're, we're gentle, we're here, but when we decide to bring the gangster out, you're going to see us do what it is we do. Like, I'm going to knock you the heck out right here. We, It ain't no me telling people about it behind the scenes and they're coming to you and acting like it's, everything is okay. No, 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 no. What I said to Peter about you behind the door, behind closed doors, is what I'm going to tell you in your face. Okay? Keep fooling with me. So, it's a difference. This kind of energy... They're all talk, no bite. 
this is this is the kind of person that I say, oh, I want to fight, I want to fight this person, but then they'll go hire somebody to come fight you. It's like I challenge you to a duel, but you know Mary's gonna fight on my behalf. That's that kind of person. Don't uh uh, uh yep, no bite. Okay. So whoever this is, they're about to go through a humbling. Because something is going to be balanced for you by your ancestors. You could have someone out here in the upright uh, that is seeing things for what it is that they are. And it is this woman here may end up telling the truth about you, the actual empress. They said, oh, well, I can't pretend like you're not an empress anymore. I've been refusing to see that you are an empress and anybody cares what you think of other people. The community you are in, you all may care about what you think of each other. But people outside of those communities, that's not how they live. If your name ain't on the bill, uh, who are you? Goodbye. Okay, if you ain't paying the bill, who are you? Uh, goodbye. That energy. Talking about, I don't, I don't think that's a real empress. This is what they be talking about. I think I'm more educated than this person. Nobody cares. You're more educated, but you don't got no skills. How'd that work out, Lisa? How'd that work out? How are you more educated, but you're stealing from somebody you say you're better than? How? How are you educated, but you're stealing from somebody you deem to be less than you? I feel like I need to meet. Like, no, come on. Let, never mind. Woo! Mm -mm. This is just too much people be doing. Going out of your way to prove that somebody is not worthy. But at the same time, you're trying to steal from the person you think is not worthy. Which one is Elisa? Are they worthy or are they worthy? Because it sounds like they are worthy. Are you stupid or dumb or something? Because what is this? How are you going to say you're smart? You're smarter than somebody. You're wiser than somebody. You got status and this and that. But you're trying to steal and tick from the person you deem to be less than you. How does that work? I'm gonna need you got some explaining. You got some explaining to do. Cause if you ain't no day you ever gonna see me and say, "Oh, that's a crackhead right there," but then I'm gonna go try to steal from the crackhead. Huh? It says Cynthia. Come, 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 come. That's what my ancestors are like. My child, come, 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 come. What are you doing? I bet. What are you? Come on. You, maybe your ancestors have distanced themselves from you because of what you've been doing. But I guarantee you, if they were around you, they would have been told you, um, that's the wrong direction. Don't do that. Maybe they told you and you still didn't listen because you're showing up in the reverse, which means you're financially motivated. You saw somebody's business and you knew it was a lot of money to be made out of it. And maybe you realized that that person wouldn't work with you because they, they are too gifted or too talented to skill. You two are of different different uh, uh mentality you're more so on the superficial side since she keeps showing up in the reverse and that other person is an empress energy right humble down to earth that subtle majestic energy about themselves very creative very abundant uh they they, they 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 do things accordingly like to the laws of nature and things like that someone is just like balanced so you saw all of that. You said, oh, that's a real empress. I ain't a real empress. But I'm going to take on their energy and pretend like I'm them. And I'm going to get abundance off of their name. Nah, that ain't how it works. You didn't realize somebody was protected. The universe don't, don't, don't fool about this person. Because somebody has a calling on their life. Somebody will be seen and heard around the world. And I know that's what you've been trying to block. Okay? You don't want someone to be seen as credible, someone to be seen as innovative, someone to be seen as diplomatic, down to earth, calm, collect, and things like that. So you've been doing everything and everything out here to what? Isolate and destroy this person. Is that a king of cups reverse you're sending to this person? Girl, what are you doing? I don't know whose mother this is in here too. They're sending a king of cups reverse to an empress energy so that they can uh, isolate you and then take you out or something, destroy you, sabotage you. That ain't gonna work. Like this, you got problems coming in. They're sending a king of cups reverse into your energy. And while you're coming, you don't know there are eyes on you. You got eyes on you. You got eyes on you. Yeah. Oh yeah. They want to destroy you before you can receive an offer, a contract from a community, an institution. 
That's what they're trying to do. They said before he, before she gets that contract. Miss mm -hmm. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is how smart you are, right? <laughs> how, how are we figuring out what it is you're going to do before you do it? Is this your mom or who is this? There's somebody's mother in here, somebody's wife in here, because it's a uh, empress in here that's sending somebody to. It said, Bef before they get this contract, we need you to go in and gaslight them. We need you to go do this, play with their emotions. We need you to isolate them, take them out so that they don't get this contract. Maybe before he even gets there, the, the universe is on his tail. They're on his tail. Trying to steal somebody's abundance, security. Baby, they are on his tail. I said, go give them this so that they don't they don't receive the actual offer. They can they, they should not receive this contract from this person. Lots of competition. This is a man in competition with a woman as well. This King of Cups reverse. It's very sad when you meet men like these because it's like they they just don't get it. They don't know how stuff looks. They say you're a man in competition with a woman. Oftentimes. The universe will give a woman to a man as a gift, right? He'll see this man in some type of deplorable mindset. He, life ain't going nowhere for him. Uh, he's in this like and limited mindset. He's like, oh, I can't start that business. It's probably not going to work. Uh, nobody's going to watch my platform. Nobody's going to do this. And then God will bless them with uh, feminine energy and say, hey, go help this person like they're not telling you physically go help this person but they'll guide you to that person and you'll see what it is that's the blockage in their life their mental is the blockage in their life so you know you know how to fix that you know how to tell them to to fix that mindset like you're the one limiting yourself when you speak those things into existence you're limiting what it is you can manifest you're limiting your abundance because the power is in the tongue okay this is why a lot of light workers, they don't got to do uh, all kinds of herbs and things like that. They'll do it just for like the fun of it and just because they want to. It makes them feel good, right? Because those are the physical ways of uh, cleansing yourself and protecting yourself. But on average, most light workers, they just need their mind and their tongue, okay? Uh, that third eye and their tongue, that's all they need. So, you know... You, you don't realize that whoever this is in the reverse that is in competition with a woman with an empress by the way an, a, an, a naturally abundant person so this is someone is better to partner up with than to be in competition with or to be in some type of rivalry with okay so this person they don't realize that their tongue is what's limiting their manifestation is blocking their manifestation from coming through so the universe will put you in their life so that you can bring attention to that and say, hey, don't talk to yourself like that. Don't talk about yourself like that. Don't cut your, your uh, manifestation because you're asking. Sometimes people will ask the universe or command something into existence, but then they'll, they'll put a, a chop in there when they say, oh, that's probably not going to happen. You have already undone your manifestation. <clears throat> so let's say you ask the universe for a house and you've been working towards a house, right? Um, and the universe is about to give you that house and you go in and say, oh, well, they're probably not going to give me that house. Well, yeah, you just told them like, you don't, you, you've created a whole new realm where that didn't happen. So it's not coming. That's how it works. You spoke, you spoke it into existence, but then when it was supposed to be given to you, the universe was working on creating that, uh, realm or dimension where the house is real. The house is coming to you. It's manifesting. You decided, oh, it's not going to happen. So now they say, oh, you know what? It, he already uh, retracted what it is. He said he don't need the house anymore. She doesn't need the house anymore. People don't understand how manifestation works. I know people tell you, oh, listen to this heart. You'll wake up abundant the next day. That ain't how it works. You have been co-created with the universe. Co-creation has to do with trusting the universe, putting in the effort. They tell you go to school to get this, this degree and you'll get this job. Your job, your part of the co-creation is to go and get that degree. Maybe they didn't tell you how you're going to get the money for that degree, but they're going to provide the money for that degree. They're, they're waiting on you to enroll into school and get that degree. But you're there saying, oh, I don't have the money for the degree. I don't have this and da 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 Go apply for this job. Oh, they're probably not going to hire me. It's all Caucasians in that company. They don't like people like me. They don't like people of color. We told you to go in and apply for the job. Okay? So your tongue, again... It's what 
is what's, uh, 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 whoever this king of cups is reversed. Your tongue is what's limiting your manifestation. You're very negatively minded. Your mindset is very negative. Okay, you're limited on what it is you feel like you can do. You've limited yourself. Whoever you're coming after is a two of wands. This is people that are limitless. Okay, they look at the horizon and they manifest what they want. They say, oh, this is like the universe showing them. You know how in, in uh, Lion King, uh, uh, Simba's father told him, look out as far as you can see. Uh, that's how far our kingdom is or something like that. Something of that likeness. Okay, so it is similar to this two of wands energy. Uh, whatever you imagine, look for, look far out and why. Whatever you can imagine, you can have. Okay, because by the time you get to this two of wands energy, you've done quite a lot of work to heal. You've done a lot of work uh, for the universe to give you this kind of authority and clearance into uh, the universe where you're able to just manifest what it is you want because you're somebody... You are in like the fool's mentality, but in a business sense when it comes to the two of wands, where it's like you can have whatever you you can have whatever you like. If you imagine it, you work towards it, they'll let they'll allow you to have it basically. So you're not codependent on anybody else to manifest for you. Like when people go to practitioners, like I want to have this, I want to, I'm trying to manifest $50,000. You've limited yourself because now you feel like you got to go to a third party to help you manifest. You don't got to go to a third party to manifest for you. You got to do the inner work. Cleanse your mind. Cleanse your heart. Okay? Get in touch with your higher self. You and your higher self are one. It ain't no separation. Okay? And when you can do all that cleansing and healing, then, you, you, you listen, go ahead. Go all out. Manifest what you want. Okay? As long as you're working towards it. It's not something where you say, oh, I, I, I'm asking for $50,000. And then you sit on your behind. You're looking around. Where's my $50,000? What are you doing? Okay. It's something like that. But it's a King of Cups reverse in competition with the Empress Energy. They're sending him to you to, you know, play with your mind. They're teaching him how to manipulate, how to come in and confuse you. Okay. How to get on your emotional side, play with your emotion just so he can sabotage your, your fruits, the fruits of your labors. Okay. Destroy your offers and things like that. Maybe it's going to be a failure because you're going to be listening to your intuition. You know, this person is watching you and you're looking into, um, other avenues and things like that. We ain't going to talk about what it is you're looking into. If you are looking into something, cause I just looked, saw the page of swords. <clears throat> But whoever this is, is basically being sent to you so that it can deter you before you receive a contract. Because there's something where people are tempering with what it is that's yours so that you can give up on it or you can give up on yourself, on your path and things like that. And because it's not working, this is a desperate time called for desperate measure. They're sending in this King of Cups reverse um, to come into your energy now and tell you, hey... How you doing? Long time no see. I was coming in to see if we can work on things. I've um done a lot of work. I can't believe, you know, I used to be like that. He's still devilish. Still devilish. Still obsessed. Still angry. Okay? J just doing too much out here. Still obsessed and angry and just doing too much. Okay? He hasn't changed. He hasn't healed. Uh, hasn't done any type of inner work. He should have been doing it, but he didn't. He's not going to. Okay? He is not going to. There could be a group that's going through some type of emotional distress. Um, because maybe you, the Empress, you're not going to be accepting an offer from this King of Cups reverse. And why would you? You've done too much work to be an Empress in order to go and digress. To go settle down with a freaking uh, 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 King of Cups reverse. Someone that plays with people's emotions. Someone that's not emotionally available. Someone that's not even emotionally intact. Okay? This is like a narcissist. Okay? Someone that misuses their emotions. If they do show you emotions, they're faking it. They go overboard with it. Oh my God! I can't believe I treated you like that! What is wrong with me? I should be in hell right now for what I did to you. But they don't care. That's the kind of person you want to be with? Baby, they're going to be cold with it. Cold. Now, this is a cold-blooded mother sucker walking up about the face of the earth. Okay? Like that. Someone is someone is having a hard time coping with the fact that you and them 
ain't never going to be together again. Okay, so I don't know who this empress is that's sending him to you. It's that go in and give her a love offer. Go in and play with her emotions and things like that. We're going to keep this on the wraps. We're going to make it look like we're separating and things like that. And when you go in and give her this offer, she's going to accept it. And then we're going to be able to keep manifesting off of their energy because, you know, they'll be stuck in another karmic cycle. Don't even bother coming because ain't nobody going to accept no offer from you. And there's something where it's that on your way to this person, you may even get arrested that part you may get arrested on your way so i don't know how you're coming to this woman but on your way to this woman you may end up getting arrested and going through quite a lot of problems so you may want to think and thread with caution okay this uh all of this uh uh uh, uh, uh trying to act like you are balanced and you want to come in and give somebody an offer and you who stop wasting people's time out here stop wasting people's time this is probably somebody that has a hand in keeping you stagnant they said slow this down and there's somebody telling them what to do slow this down and, blah, 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 blah. and then you got a queen of queen of swords in here that's very i don't know if she's crying She's in distress that you're going to have a new beginning. Somebody's coming in to give you an offer. It's going to be a solid offer, too, that you're going to be receiving. Okay? And they've been working really hard to stop you from being seen. I mean, it's a collaboration. They've been trying to stop some type of contract from being given to you. Something, some type of abundance from being given to you. No friendships. No new beginnings. We just want her in distress and things of that nature. Okay, and then you got somebody that says, I want to go in and give to this offer, give this person this offer. Now, I don't know why they feel the need to talk to people. Maybe it's a business thing. So they thought they were uh, talking to their business partners or something that they want to work with you. But the people they're working with, maybe they didn't understand who these kind of people were. They didn't understand like what these people are into. How I think somebody has found out just how far jealousy how far people will go because of jealousy, because of insecurities. It's something like that. But whoever is coming towards you, they are not divorced. They haven't broken up with their partner. It's all a pretentious thing to make it seem like what it's not. Okay, they're not single, nothing. They're not single, ready to mingle, but they're ready to mingle. If you get my drift. But you need to stand your ground and keep going. Because something is going to pay out. It's going to pin out for you. But this is a lot of efforts. You got people that may even be fighting with, uh, uh, I don't know who this king of pentacles is. People may be fighting. That someone is stuck in some type of drama. They're stuck in some type of drama. It's like they're trying to keep him in some type of, I don't know if he signed a contract with them, whatever this is. Like they're trying to keep him trapped or keep him binded. It's like you made a promise. You signed this uh, contract. You said you would uh, not help this person. You would not, uh, 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 what is it? You would keep our secrets or you would not turn on us. You vowed your loyalty to us or something like that. And this is a very dark D deal. This is one of those made a deal with the devil kind of energy. And maybe he didn't read the fine print. I think I mentioned something about this in a previous reading that the king of pentacles was signing a deal and he didn't, Signing a deal with the devil and he didn't read the fine prints. And it, sound, it seems like he may have done that. Or maybe they're trying to get him to give his power away. But he's self-actualizing and thinking about it. And he don't want to be part of it. Maybe they're angry that he's leaving. Like they're trying to take somebody's power away from him. But they can't. I don't know what this is. I, 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 I really don't know what this is. The King of Cups, don't, don't even, like this person has fallen from grace a whole long time ago. Like somebody, like the universe is taking, <laughs> taking care of somebody. And when I say taking care of somebody, I mean like somebody is about to have a hard fall. A very hard fall. It could even be also, there's a King of Pentacles, a King of Cups reverse that's in competition with a King of Pentacles. Okay. And whoever, there's something where it's like a King of Cups reverse is about to be like exposed. 
like it don't gotta be the one that's your ex there's another one i'm picking up on he's about to like someone has fallen from grace and something is being like attuned and the way it's being attuned this man is about to lose everything like i don't know if someone's going to move away or he moved away to act like he had nothing to do with something but whatever is being done it's going to lead to a lot of losses for this. Like, he's going to be in nothing but problems. Kind of think of, like, your life elevating and somebody else is just, like, just stuck. And he's going through karma, going through conflict with literally everybody. This is like you're walking down the street and people are throwing, uh, putting their foot out so you can trip on it. Or people busting your car tires and things like that. Because you got them in some type of hot mess, apparently. I mean, you didn't force them into it. But... Apparently, you know, you did something that cost them a lot of money or cost them some type of business or cost them something at the detriment. Like it's like they, they wanted to succeed at the detriment of somebody else. But maybe you did something that caused them a loss. So it's like now they're after you. And while he's going through all of those things, divine being your life is elevating. So somebody's about to learn a really hard lesson. Really hard lesson. it like they, I, there could be something where it is that they're trying to stop someone in the public eye from either giving you a contract or from receiving a contract because it's going to be something that leads to a lot of abundance for you so you could have like people not wanting you to and what i've been picking up on is that people don't want you to be seen they don't want you heard they don't want you taken seriously they don't want people to know that you are intellectual you're probably more intellectual than a lot of these people because in, if they had common sense they wouldn't be doing all of this stuff so there's something where it's like if you're seeing the truth is exposed but the truth is already exposed it's like it's a lot of truths coming out and people are going through karma so i i don't even know what this is but it is what it is. Uh, they may be trying to stop you from moving on or they're trying to stop somebody else from moving on and coming towards you. It, it's just a lot of effort to cause a lot of problems and blockages and stillments and this and that. And it's like, this is just too much. Just too much. It may be like an institution, a higher fan or somebody that has legal issues coming in too. Like a lot of people got issues. Like somebody is, be, is about to be offing people's lights. Like nothing but problems in these people's lives. You say, oh, you were you were part of it too? Lights out. But I don't mean like unaliving people. I mean like just causing them problems. And like they have the right to do it. Like they have the clearance to do it. Like somebody, it's like somebody literally just sitting back and like making phone calls or taking actions. Like someone is doing something in a, a, a very discreet manner. But it's like he's loud and bull with it as well. He said, oh, he was part of it? Okay, all right. And then that person wakes up the next day and said, oh, yeah, you got to leave. He said, well, you didn't even give me a notice that I got to leave my apartment. We don't get, you got to leave. Oh, you know, CPS is at the door. He said, what? Like, there's something that these people, like, they got themselves in hot water. I don't know how to, like, explain it, how to verbalize it. Like, Everybody involved got problems coming in. And whoever the skin of cups reverse is, maybe it's about to be H E double hockey stick on earth for him. Because everybody is about to have a problem with this man. He and his false empress. Someone may be out here disappointed that you, the actual empress, don't have any emotions for somebody. You're not desiring to walk away or nothing like that. Like, you're not going to walk away from your dreams and things like that. Like, they, they, like you can see somebody for who it is that they are. Like, they try to have you, have you see someone as, like, your match. They want you to reconcile with somebody. But it's like the universe is showing you who somebody is. It's like, if this is somebody from your past, they say, hey, this is what they were up to. This is what they did. You don't got no business coming back together with this person. That contract is over. So you cannot get back with them. Even if you want to, you can't. They're not going to allow it. Because the con like the contract is, somebody wants to come from your past, basically. Like, don't reconcile with anyone from your past. Because they're coming with some type of ulterior motive. They are still 
attached to somebody else. Their mother may not even like you, not that it matters. Their, their mother, their family, whoever don't like you, don't want you with this person, that's a blessing. These people are not even like, like you. These are like people that are dark, very greedy, insecure. Like it, literally they saw you and the insecurity started just vibrating in them. They got a problem. It's like we've been dark. Why are you with this dark with this light? We can't you cannot be with this light workers. So the mother may not like you, but you probably don't care. Uh, you don't know her, never met her, don't care to. So I don't I don't even know what the heck this is. It's a whole lot of collaboration because I see the king queen of pentacles in here talking to the empress. So that means it's a collaboration going on here. It's like I need, I don't know if she's asking this empress for money. This queen of pentacles could be out of money. And now she's going to people and borrowing money to cause you problems. To cause this uh, uh, king of pentacles problems. Is that she's out of money. So she's going around and asking people for money to keep causing problems. That's okay. Let her. That too is going to backfire. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell her how it's going to backfire. She's going to find out. Like someone just keeps, you know how people, when you bury people, the, the grave is supposed to be six feet deep. Maybe this woman don't go on 36 feet deep. She, she's just been dug in. She said she is, she, like she's going to put you in a hole that you cannot climb out, out of. But maybe that ain't how it's going to go. We, we're going to let her keep digging. Keep digging, ma'am. Keep digging. Let her keep digging. King of Cups, whatever you're doing, baby, keep doing it. It's okay. So, like, somebody's about to fix the situation. Fix it. They're about to fix it. Okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And stay blessed. See you in the next read. Goodbye for now.